with this conversation that we're just having about cultural change? Yeah. Well, here's what I think we should do. We should get rid of all of these uh, massive net migration figures. We should announce that we're going to have a net migration cap at 50,000 to 100,000 a year, and we're going to have a five-year break on all further forms of migration so we can absorb the mass migration of the last 20 years. That would be a reasonable policy proposal that allows us to still have NHS uh, workers, to still have nurses, to still have some high-skill migration, which is what the Conservatives promised us. It would allow us to remove the fiscal uh, low, the, the, the low-skill migration, which is a fiscal drain on the economy. And it would also allow us, crucially, to focus on integrating and absorbing the enormous amounts of migration over the last 20 years. Now, I've polled this, uh, Jeeves, and this is a very popular policy. About 55 to 60 percent of the country say, yep, give us a five-year break on migration. We're a tolerant country. We're a welcoming country. We've taken our fair share of refugees. We'll continue to do, uh, to do that in proportion to other countries. But let's have a five-year break and let's let's bring that net migration figure below 100,000. Is that the solution? No, I don't think so. I think we're, we're an ageing society and we also have the, the problem of people leaving. So with nurses, teachers going to countries like Australia and the United States, uh, long term, we probably don't disagree, right? Uh, we need to train our own people up and we need to really have a high skill, high productivity economy for people in this country. But that's not going to happen overnight. So my worry is, for instance, you would have basically a crisis in in the care system, in the private care system, if you did something like that. I don't think we should have low-paid immigrant workers running the care system. That's what we've got. But to go from A to B, it's going to take a while and you need to be pragmatic. Uh, I do think it's fascinating, by the way, all the time people talk about the care sector and the amount of uh, workers needed there. No one ever brings up the fact that I think it was about 40,000 care workers got given the boot because they decided to have body autonomy over what they injected into their own bodies. I still think that was an absolute disgrace. Anyway, yeah. what do you think to what Aaron's just said? Yeah, I mean, I don't, find, I don't find it convincing. I mean, I think, you know, on the one hand, we went from net migration levels of around 50,000 to about 200,000 in a number of years under Tony Blair and New Labour. We just suddenly flipped into this model of mass migration. The problem, Jeeves, is we now have big business, government, and let's say an alliance of kind of um, you know, liberal elites in the cities who are basically now addicted to importing cheap labour, which undercuts British workers, which only serves to keep profits high and consumption high to feed a broken political economy. That's what we've got in this country. What we need is a completely different way of running our economy and our housing and our public services. And until somebody actually stands up and says, we need to break this zeitgeist, we need to break this status quo, we need a radical alternative, and instead of kicking the can down the, down, down the grass, say, look, we need to do this now, we need to train up our own kids to work in the NHS. And, you know, why are people leaving to go to Australia and New Zealand? Because they can't get a house, because the public services here don't really work, because the quality of life is deteriorating. We all know it, we all see it, we're all out there every day. We know this country is not what it was 10 years ago and 20 years ago, we can all see it. And the reason is, we don't don't have leaders who are willing to radically shake up the status quo because they get scared every time they have to confront business and every time they have to confront the commentariat because everybody screams at them that they're racist or they're xenophobic or whatever else. We, we just seem to be locked in this never ending saga, which is just giving us low growth, high debt, mass migration and social division. <laughs> Uh, anything you want to come back on that? Briefly, look at the time. It flies, doesn't it, Aaron? Well, it's interesting that Matthew, I know Matthew's a big criti critic of uh, the Tories, but we're not the same country we were 10, 20 years ago. Well, the Tories have been governing the country for the last 13 years. Agree. In, in, in 2011, David Cameron, I think, and his government withdrew the nursing bursary. For instance, an, an appalling act of self-sabotage and, and national self-destruction. And on infrastructure, on training people, on housing... On issue after issue after issue, the status quo isn't functioning and at the forefront of that failure have been the Conservatives since 2010.